In a tweet, Elon Musk said that Tesla's pressurized edition of the Cybertruck will be the official truck of Mars. The Cybertruck has already been designed to be extremely strong, meaning that it's not a giant leap for Tesla to create a pressurized edition for Mars. And Elon Musk and SpaceX are fans of using commercial, readily available components when building their space tech, instead of buying and building highly specialized parts that are expensive and take a long time to develop. In this video, we take a look at the development of the Cybertruck. From the design features for Earth and Mars to the links it has for future Mars missions, such as the close proximity of the Cybertruck factory to SpaceX's launch site in Texas, and how a Model X has already been used to transport astronauts to the launch pad whose spacesuits plugged into the car. And at the end of this video, we'll take a further look into the future and see what the future holds for the Cybertruck when it comes to building on Mars. What does it mean to have a pressurized version of the Cybertruck? The Martian atmosphere is less than 1% as dense as Earth's atmosphere, so any Mars vehicles will have to have their own human breathable air at normal Earth-like air pressures. This would mean that the air inside the Cybertruck is at about 100 times higher pressure than the air on the outside on Mars. This higher pressure inside would mean that the force is pushing outwards from the inside, like blowing up a balloon. So the vehicle needs to be strong enough to withstand this pressure. The stainless steel that is being used to build the Cybertruck will be similar to the stainless steel being used to build the SpaceX Starship. Usually, when forming a car, the metal is stamped into shape. Elon Musk says that the cold rolled steel being used for the Cybertruck is so strong that it would break a stamping press. Instead, the steel will be laser cut and bent into place. In the end, the skin of the Cybertruck will be three millimeters thick. The Cybertruck will also need to be completely sealed and airtight so that air will not leak out on Mars. This would mean that the windows would be in a fixed closed position with a seal around them. The doors would have to have an airtight seal, and the truck's ventilation system will not be able to feed in air from the outside for passengers. There would need to be a system to manage the air, including a method to remove the CO2 and add more oxygen. An alternative solution would be to have the astronauts wear their spacesuits while they're in the Tesla Mars Cybertruck, which is something that SpaceX and Tesla have already done. When transporting the American astronauts in 2020 to the SpaceX launch pad, a Tesla Model X was used, and the astronaut suits had an umbilical cord that plugged into the car, providing cooling to the humans. But, as with all Tesla cars, the Cybertruck will have the full suite of sensors needed for self-driving including cameras, radar, and ultrasonic sensors, meaning that astronauts would not be needed to drive the Cybertruck around on Mars, transporting materials and equipment. Let's take a look at the Cybertruck design features that will help people here on Earth and later on Mars. Elon Musk has said that the Cybertruck is inspired by the Warthog from the game Halo. It's a fast and light tactical ground vehicle used by the fictional United Nations Space Command Armed Forces. It can also turn carbon matter into fuel and filter water or turn it into fuel too. Coming back to the real-life Cybertruck, it is being built to be a utility vehicle for everyday people here on Earth. Tesla describes the Cybertruck as having better utility than a truck with more performance than a sports car. The truck bed has been designed to be as useful as possible for people that will use the pickup truck on building sites and remote locations where tools are used. It has a 240 volt supply, which could mean that builders no longer need to take a generator to a building site, as non-electric trucks do not have the big batteries like the Cybertruck, so they cannot compete. Also, the Cybertruck's air suspension system will be connected to a hose in the back bed, meaning that the compressed air can also be used to power air compression tools, such as nailers, drills, or spray painters. When it comes to driving around, the Cybertruck will have an active suspension height and damping control system. This is so that the truck is able to adapt to the road conditions and the load in the truck bed, and is able to raise, lower, or dampen impact for each wheel individually. For a pickup truck that may be carrying heavy items while going off-road on Earth and Mars, this would greatly improve its off-road performance. And then there is the Cybertruck's add-on feature of solar panels, which is something Elon Musk has tweeted about. 
saying that solar panels could add 15 miles of range per day, while adding a fold-out solar wing could add up to 30 to 40 miles of range per day. Elon also tweeted, saying that the average amount people drive in a day on Earth in the US is 30 miles. On Mars, solar panels are not as efficient and are not able to produce the same amount of energy as they do on Earth. But would astronauts need only a few miles a day of power to transport equipment and materials around a Mars base? Let's go into more detail of how the Cybertruck is going to be built. The main difference between Tesla's Cybertruck and normal trucks is the exoskeleton design. Trucks usually have a body-on-frame architecture, meaning that the engine pushes the internal metal frame and the body of the truck is a thin skin. The Cybertruck exoskeleton does not have an internal frame. Instead, the outer skin is so strong that it acts as the frame, and the motors push the skin directly. The skin is made out of cold-rolled stainless steel, which is significantly stronger than normal steel. The strong skin is paired with Tesla's armor glass. The exterior shell has no paint, which reduces the cost of manufacturing. Estimates say that it could save $180 million when setting up the manufacturing line. This makes it easier and faster to build, and cheaper too. So hopefully more of them will be on the streets, allowing Tesla to develop more futuristic tech for the Cybertruck. Elon Musk tweeted in November 2019, just two days after the Cybertruck was announced, that 146,000 had been pre-ordered, with 42% being dual motor, 41% triple motor, and 17% single motor. The single motor version is rear-wheel drive, while the dual motor and triple motor versions are all-wheel drive. As you add more motors, the off-road performance is better, acceleration is better, range is better, and the price is higher. The range of the Cybertruck can go up to 500 miles or 800 kilometers based on the model. The top model can hit 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds and a top speed of 130 miles per hour or 210 kilometers per hour. The top range tri-motor can carry a payload of 3,500 pounds or 1,600 kilograms and has a towing capacity of 14,000 pounds or 6,350 kilograms and costs $69,900 while the base model costs $39,900. The building of the Earth version of the Cybertruck will take place at Giga Texas, which is a new factory that Tesla is building for the Cybertruck, which will also build the Tesla Semi, Model 3 and Y, and batteries. The Giga Texas factory is located just a bit north of SpaceX's South Texas launch site, also known as the Boca Chica launch site. This is where one of the Starship prototypes is being built that could one day take humans to Mars. Moving forward, the first Cybertrucks should start shipping by the end of 2021, with production ramping up for 2022, which is the same year that Elon Musk wants to start sending Starships to Mars to deliver life support equipment, followed by a human mission in 2024, since Mars and Earth's alignment only happens every two years. There has been a lot of demand for the Cybertruck here on Earth. Elon Musk said it was hard to say how many pre-orders there are since they stopped counting, saying it is well over half a million pre-orders. The Tesla Model 3, announced in 2016, had 325,000 reservations within a week of the announcement, but the Tesla Model 3 reservation price was $1,000, while the Cybertruck is $100. But this does mean that there are over $50 million in pre-order revenues for the Cybertruck. Elon Musk has said that if the Cybertruck does not sell well, Tesla could end up going back to a more traditional pickup design. Could there be a day when SpaceX is sending multiple Cybertrucks to Mars in a Starship to service in the building of a human settlement? Will these Cybertrucks be transporting materials around the Mars base and be self-driving, while the human astronauts in their spacesuits drive the Cyber Quads? These Cyber Quads are an add-on option for the Cybertruck buyers here on Earth. They are two-person ATVs and are able to charge in the bed of the futuristic Cybertruck. On the next episode of Venture City, we take a look at Elon Musk and his thoughts on connecting our brains to computers. Hit the subscribe and thumbs up buttons to not miss a video.